Well, folks, it finally happened. Playwright has surpassed Cyprus in weekly downloads. And I made a post yesterday about it and it really blew up, which surprised me. In this video, I would like to take a look at some of the reactions and leave a little comment on it. But stick around to the end of the video because there is more I want to talk about today. So here's the post in question. Uh, right now it has over 757 reactions. Uh, I shared it yesterday. It has like 63,000 impressions, which is impressive. Uh, it's probably one of my most viral posts. But what I essentially shared was a graph from NPM Trends that shows the growth, the insane growth of Playwright. So what does that mean? Do we all have to migrate to play right now? Well, no, it doesn't mean that at all. It's just the community going to play right. And if you look closely, Cyprus is still growing, although there is slight slowing down in the Cyprus growth. But what I like to take a look at is some of the reactions and I like to dismantle them because some of them are kind of edgy. So one of those reactions is this one. It's happening because of Cyprus blocking. Those of you who don't know, last September Cyprus decided to block one of the services that was doing a parallelization uh, for free or I believe for a payment. The service was called Currents and Cyprus decided to block them. Basically, if you were using Currents and you installed Cyprus, Cyprus noticed and would not run your test. They posted a blog post about this and the reasons for why they would do that. The whole thing is kind of controversial. I don't really want to get into it, but it seemed like many of the users that were blocked now that they were using Currents with Cyprus have decided to take the opportunity and to migrate their test suite into Playwright. Some of them decided to go and purchase Cypress Cloud and some of them would probably look for another solution. There's an interesting comment about the power of having Microsoft support. And I think this one is interesting because having a big corporation backing you up can definitely help you, but it can also mean that your project is going to get slashed once it's not economically viable, which Playwright doesn't seem to be. It's still a open source project, which you can now integrate into Azure. And there are some sort of dashboard capabilities now that are being beta tested. And you can probably sign up for those, which is kind of interesting, but still the project itself is open source. It's getting a lot of traction, but it will be interesting to see how Playwright is going to monetize this. And if they are going to do so, because if not, and the project is going to require more developers, it will be interesting to see how Microsoft decides on this project. So I wouldn't say anything is given. Now, to be clear, I don't see Microsoft closing down Playwright anytime soon, but it is a thing that technically could happen. All I want to say that having Microsoft's money is not in any way a bigger guarantee than having VC funding as Cypress does. There's a comment from Tyler who says, Playwright is so easy to get up and running, there's no compare. Which I personally find very funny, because for me, it doesn't compare, but the other way. I found Cypress to be much easier than Playwright, but I'm always learning and always finding out that there are people that find Playwright much easier to use, much easier to set up. And for me, that's just not the case. I will probably always prefer Cypress over Playwright. But it goes to show how different approaches people have. It may be because of their background, it may be because of their personal preferences, but those differences will still be there. And it's funny how people can just be on opposite side of the spectrum when it comes to their preferences of different tools. Another comment says, I hope the trend continues and Cypress innovates more to keep up. And this is an interesting one because Cypress did innovate over last year and a half, but their focus was more on Cypress Cloud, which is their paid service that helps keep the company alive. As far as the Cypress Runner, the open source project goes, there hasn't been much movement. And there was time in the past where I would post every changelog update that they would do, because every changelog update would actually be really exciting. 
I don't do that anymore because those changes are not that exciting or it's more or less just about the Cypress cloud. Now, this is a logical step and the Cypress team has to do that. So it's not a critique from my side, but I'm wondering what the future of Cypress Runner will be. I think the trend of Playwright just going up with their weekly downloads has been going on for a while and Cypress hasn't responded. So I'm wondering if they're still waiting or if there are any plans on responding to that, adding more features, because there are so many things Cypress Runner can still do and hasn't been doing. So I would like to see those innovations. Now there's a video of me on this exact channel uh, where I'm answering a question, what would I like from Cypress? And it's me talking about how I want the Cypress dashboard to be better, which is ironic because now I actually want the Cypress runner to be better. I'm thinking maybe we're moving in these different waves and we just like need to accept that sometimes the Cypress runner is going to get some love. Sometimes the Cypress cloud, the service is going to get some love. It will be really interesting to see what's going to happen next. There's another good comment. Interesting. I hope they don't move their crucial features to paid version like the way Cypress did. Now, this is funny because Cypress has never moved any of their free features to paid tier, not as far as I can remember. The parallel execution was always a premium feature. In fact, that's how the whole Cypress monetization model started. They offered Cypress Cloud that would do the instrumentation of your tests for you. So that's what you would pay for. Playwright then came and decided they're going to do that for free, but the way they do that is they keep running on the same machine. At some point you're going to hit the performance limit because you cannot keep like parallelizing on the same machine over and over. But I guess people mostly prefer parallelization being done the Playwright way over the Cypress way. Interestingly, I got an email today from Cypress offering me a free package with 500 recordings, 500 tests uh, per month, I believe. I have to look into that, but it seems like they do want to offer some parallelization for free. And it will be interesting to see where that goes. Even Cypress has switched to Playwright it uses for Safari support. I think that's kind of a cheap slam dunk. I think one of the main powers of Cypress was that it is open source and that the community can contribute. I believe that this should be happening more and more in Cyprus. I'm not sure whether that is going to be the future, but I personally believe that this is the way how Cyprus should approach the community, add more people in, add more integrations. You can have so many different integrations with Cyprus. You cannot really do that uh, in the same way with Playwright. And I think this is where Cyprus really has its edge and should capitalize on that. The fact that there's a huge community of contributors that can help shape the product. And in many ways, this was the reality a couple of years ago. For example, we had a package that was called Cypress Upload. It was a separate package. After a time, it got integrated into Cypress Core. I think this could be a very interesting way of understanding what the community wants and providing that within the Cypress package. So yeah, those are just a couple of my thoughts on the comments that I've got, but I am going to continue uh, tomorrow, depending on when you are watching this, but if you're watching it on the release, tomorrow we're going to have a live stream with my colleague and friend, Jonathan Canalis. He's from Checkly and he's also working uh, with me at Replay. We're going to discuss this in more depth. What does it mean that Cypress has surpassed uh, Cypress in weekly downloads? Uh, what does it mean for the community? Should you migrate to Playwright? Uh, what's the future of Playwright? What's the future of Cypress? If you want to come, uh, come join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be answering questions, discussing. So make sure to join us and I'll see you next time.